There's also been a steep increase in deportations, a record 400,000 last year. And federal agents recently rounded up criminal immigrants in both Albuquerque and Santa Fe. In all, they got 30, including a child molester who should have been deported years ago. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live downtown. Ian? Dick, Immigration and Custom Enforcement agents did it went out in the middle of the night last week looking for criminal aliens. They'll deport the people they arrested, but agents know many, some, excuse me, will come right back into this country. An ICE operation like this one netted 28 ICE arrests in the Albuquerque and Santa Fe areas last week. We keep very busy with the resources that we have. Albuquerque Assistant Field Director Bill Jepson says they went after several types of illegal immigrants. Some of those that have had a um, deportation proceeding, a removal proceeding in front of an immigration judge and have been ordered deported and have never left the United States. Working with Border Patrol, ICE also targeted immigrants who keep coming back over the border after they've been deported. ICE uses local and federal databases to track down leads, also interviewing neighbors and local businesses. About half of the immigrants they rounded up have been convicted of serious crimes and have slipped through the cracks or were never handed over to the feds. Sexual predators that we um, put at the top of our list. Alberto Peña was arrested during the sweep at a heating and cooling repair shop on Alameda where he works. He was here legally back in the early 90s, but then he was convicted of molesting a five-year-old and should have had a deportation hearing. Since then, he's even failed to register as a sex offender. I says the criminal records for the other illegal immigrants netted during uh, their sweep range from drug dealing to embezzlement to forgery and document fraud. Now, everyone arrested in the sweep will be sent to the ICE detention facility in southern Otero County. There, they will either be deported or face a judge for a deportation hearing. Back to you. All right, Ian. I says so far this year it has deported nearly 150,000 illegals who have committed crimes. The 